chapter 12 of book two uh, of the house of mirth where yes the house that she goes into is selden's harry selden's house and i guess that's where she apologizes to him sees that indeed she has killed kind of the love the, the love that was there uh, between them however briefly um thanks him for believing in her on him saying oh you know it was in yourself all along she's like no it wasn't uh that it was that the fact that you believed in me that stopped me from all the little things that could have dragged me down that i could have given into the temptations of the material world that that i could have i could have given into um and she says goodbye and she is going to kill herself isn't she i i she is it seems uh, at this moment um some way i mean she's talking about how basically she's leaving behind the lily bart that was with him for him to hold on to uh she will go on but that lily bart is dead um yeah and he said you know and you know you can never he says like you know even though he doesn't love her he's like you can never go out of my life he still you know has something and it's like let us always be friends then i shall feel safe whatever happens um Do you remember what you said to me once that you could help me by you could only help me by loving me? Well, you did love me for a moment and it helped me. It has always helped me, but the moment is gone. It is was I who let it go. One must go on living. Goodbye. Um, and there's a thing of at the very end, like says, like, you know, make up the fire for me. You know, I, I must go, but, you know, I'm cold. So make up the fire. And he does. She kneels by the fire. And he doesn't realize it, but she takes out that packet of letters uh, and she tosses it into the fire. What he notices, though, is, is uh, as he did so, he noticed how thin her hands looked against the rising light of the flame. He saw, too, under the loose lines of her dress, how the curves of her figure had shrunk into angularity. He remembered long afterwards how the red play of the flame sharpened the depression of her nostrils and intensified the blackness of the shadows which struck up from her cheekbones to her eyes. She knelt there for a few moments in silence, which she dared not break. It's like she is become death. It's a death figure. It's like it's a gaunt, you know, black eyed, angular it's 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 memento mori it's remember remembrance of death uh and then you know at the end it's that it's again she went up to him and laid her hands on his shoulders goodbye she said and he bent over her and as he bent over her she touched his his forehead with her lips so it's very much got that kind of ritualistic ritualistically goodbye goodbye and goodbye yeah so that's we're 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 getting into that to that end bit um so there's that so yeah there's this there's there's her turned into into kind of a skull right there um i think the other thing which is you know you know she tries to be kind of detached but the passion the irony that is all stripped away and i think that's the thing you gotta like about her the most selden is still very much in irony mode in calm withdrawn but she's her passion cannot be contained at this point that she's been broken down enough um she's been transformed enough um that um yeah once twice you gave me the chance to escape from my life and i refused it refused it because i was a coward afterward i saw my mistake 
I saw I could never be happy with what had content. I saw I could never be happy with what had contented me before. But it was too late. You had judged me. I understood. It was too late for happiness, but not too late to be helpful, helped by the thought of what I had missed. That is what I have lived on. Don't take it from me now. Even in my worst moments, it has been like a little light in the darkness. Some women are strong enough to be good by themselves, but I needed the help of your belief in me. Perhaps I might have resisted a great temptation, but the little ones would have pulled me down. And then I remembered. I remembered your saying that such a life could never satisfy me, and I was ashamed to admit to myself that it could. That is what you did for me. That is what I wanted to thank you for. I wanted to tell you that I've always remembered that I have tried, tried hard. And it's that uh, welling of that, that emotion. Um... um There is a thing, there is a little bit in here where she says something. Let's see if I can find it, because it's the other. There's some there's somewhere in here where she says something about basically they think I've had a, my life is ruined but actually it's not ruined which I thought was quite beautiful it's the kind of stuff that I should pause at the time here I'm going to pause right now <laughs> 